Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Lockmat is back. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You're real familiar with their APP LLP line. The 4, the Pro, the Premium, the Max, the Mini, the S, the P. They got them all. But they've noticed that you guys that have all these great watches, well, your partners might be a little envious. And so... Another aspect of um, Lockmat, a different adjunct company that works with different but not the big flagship Android watches, has come up with another beautiful, beautiful watch, primarily for the ladies or small-wristed guys or just anybody that likes this style, and we are going to show it to you today. It is actually called the H76, it's available from the Lockmat Time official store on AliExpress, which is different than the APP LLP store where the big Android watches come from. But it's the same Lockmat, the company that actually makes these things. It's the first 1.57 inch screen smartwatch they claim. And it's got some, oh, by the way, there's the price. And check the uh, show notes for a link with a coupon discount. It's got some interesting specs to it. Here you go. Um, 200 milliamp hour battery, a zinc alloy and plastic case, and um, all of the typical stuff. You got your exercise recording, step counting. Um, you've got blood oxygen, I believe, heart rate, blood pressure. All of those things are honored as well, and a variety of different sporting activities. Run through the list. You can get a feel for the stuff it's got and how it works, and there you go. Let's get deeper into here, show you that we've got a two connector charger. And look at this, it's really packaged as a gift. So might be a fun thing the next time you upgrade to a super fantastic Android watch. Did you toss one of these in the order? There's not that much extra money. And then you guys can go out on the town with your uh, each of your watches and show off a little bit. Wow, it's a... I'm having trouble getting it. Oh, jeez. You didn't see me do that. I don't know. I do the silliest things on camera. I always get it backwards. There. Okay. And it's nice and strong. It's uh, going to hold really well on the watch. Gold, this one is. Ooh, that sounds like Yoda talk. Gold, this one is. It's got a pinkish um, band with a sport line in it. And a little user's manual comes with it, too. Manual de user. Oh, instruction manual. Looks like English is going to be down here at the bottom. Oh, my goodness. Lots of languages. Well, three anyway. Let's go across the English line to show you the display screen, the QR code for Duffit. We've reviewed that a lot. Here, I'll get you two pages. Just freeze frame it if you want to look at it in more detail. You can do that. Here's a couple of more pages. Uh-huh basic stuff but there might be something you need in here so you never know and the last part all right seen enough uh, as usual we'll charge it up and turn it on for you single buttons gonna turn it on with a little red accent in here and one thing I noticed look at that bezel here or look at the, the screen basically it's a bezel less overall screen and it's curved like those Samsung phones interesting vibration uh, and there you go it pops right up into a watch face and times out it's got the twist to see the time this is an elegant watch power bluetooth connection and you've got do not disturb if you want you've got a uh, beautiful brightness i mean super nice and bright for outdoors dim for indoors your selection you've got weather you've got an automatic flashlight in here so you wear this you can find the keyhole in your car at night nice this looks like it's a uh, stopwatch cool we can begin it here. Ah, looks like we can't leave it though. You have to run it active while it's going. Pause it. Then you could leave it. And then you got overall settings, which gives you that brightness control again, but a different kind of a slider capability. 
vibration on or off. The flashlight shows up again. Do not disturb. Reset power off about it. Here's the information. You set this up for tethering. And we're not going to do that today because we've covered that app a lot. But if you want to download it, you could either scan that QR code or use the link we've got in the show notes to take you over to it. Duh fit. Good app overall. Um, and that's what we get when we swipe down. When you go over to the right, you'll get notifications pushed from your phone. Notice how smooth this is. Step count, calories burned, distance travel, with time still showing on the watch, which is nice. Here's your uh, last night's sleep information. So it does have uh, ability to sleep with it. Wow, that's Whoever wore this the last time, that's a pretty hefty heart rate. Let me put it on, show you what it looks like while we're going through this. It's very lightweight. And again, you can get this with different bands and different color bodies and stuff. And uh, yeah, I've pretty much average sized wrist. Might look a little large on someone with a small, small wrist, but overall, it looks like a unisex. It could work for uh, for anyone. We're going to tap measure. It says loading. It's now going to be doing the green diode thing and get a heart rate for me. Um, standard for most of these watches. Started at 59. That seems a little low right now. I think I should be about 70 to 90. But again, check the accuracy on your own body with your own hair, skin color, tightness, all of that stuff. Using the green diodes there. And, uh, oh, we got to get out of it. There we go. Then you've got blood pressure. We won't go through all of that. It takes a while, and it'll give you your systolic and diastolic. And again, may or may not be accurate. It's up to you to check out. But I do like to do the blood oxygen measure. Hello, come back here. There we go. Because some of these watches use a red diode, which is a bit more accurate in getting the, uh, the information. And this one... Yep, indeed. Red and sometimes infrared, which we can't show on video, but it does have the dual diode technology. So we're talking a pretty high-end watch here with that design interface and uh, what it's doing with the health metrics. Cool. Okay. Last one it says is down here, 99%. This sometimes takes a while. You're supposed to be nice and still with it. Give it a chance. And fortunately, that's not a timer that's going around there. All right, I'll put it on pause. There, finally came back. Okay, 99. Well, great. That's where you expect it to be. Weather would be pushed here, but notice the writing going right off of the edge of the watch, just like on the Samsung uh, uh, phones. Yeah, it, it curves right over to the edge, so you've got a really nice screen here. Can't go any further that way. Got to come back this way to get to your watch faces, which when you press and hold, you can activate. Looks like we got four stock ones built into the watch. There you go, and this shows you the angle view. Military time if you want, 24 hour, or you can change it to 12 in the app. We all know that, and... There you go. This is a custom one where you can change the background picture and move that all around in the app as well. So you got a few different faces. Go back to that stock one. And then you get to your app drawer. Now this is step, sleep time, heart rate, and blood pressure. Those are all the cards we already saw and blood oxygen. We also have exercise. You get in here and you have these different exercises. There's no GPS in this one, so you're going to be working on step count. But check it out. Swimming. That tells you this puppy is waterproof enough to take it underwater. That means probably IP68, 5 ATM. Um, I didn't see that in the specs, but it is water uh, capable that you can swim with it. So that's another added benefit. You've got uh, weather, um, again, like the card that we saw, messages, we swiped over that way. Shutter is the ability to take a picture remotely when you're tethered to the phone, and as well as player for music playing, no speaker in here. So this just controls the music playing out of your phone. There's that stopwatch again, it's got a quick timeout. In others, we have again, vibration uh, on off, uh, your brightness, the flashlight and do not disturb along with reset power off. This is everything we already saw in the uh, uh, settings. Okay, that's pretty much it. So uh, it's a lightweight, easy uh, to operate, bright, elegant, dressy, smartwatch. 
uh, female or male. This configuration is more for the ladies and the color that it's in, but you can get it uh, in different styles as well. You see those across the bottom here, black, and it looks like uh, a white, and then this kind of a pink and gold. You get it from, yep, Lock Mat Time, their official store on AliExpress. Uh, check the show notes for a link over there, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoy your new watch.